What then marks Prime Minister thinks 96% of teenage boys do behind locked bedroom doors? Hi, I'm Paul Cruz with this Days of Thunder News Flash. Make sure you subscribe. Danish Prime Minister Lars Lukas Rasmussen traded his business-grade elite book for the day in favour of an HP Omen gaming rig to play Counter-Strike Global Offensive with Denmark-based esports team Astralis. Rasmussen has been very supportive of esports for some time now. In November, he kicked off the Counter-Strike Global Offensive Blast Series tournament in Copenhagen. Let's do this. But this wasn't just about taking a beating from the quick draw Astralis esports team. This was a well thought through political move as part of a larger initiative in collaboration with Denmark's Ministry of Culture with the aim of establishing a good framework for esports and promoting a full up view of what professional players are actually doing in their bedrooms. I think it's 96% of all Danish uh, boys who are playing at least twice a week and they are in the cellars and uh, in their the rooms behind a closed door and I think many parents are thinking what are they actually doing. Hey son, is everything okay in there? Uh, and you're playing Counter-Strike. Do, do you need a hand? Uh, no, 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 I've got a good grasp of it. D okay, well dinner will be really soon. Um, yeah, oh, okay, oh, yeah. yeah, I'll be out soon. Personally, I would suspect this is simply a way of accessing a virtually untapped audience of voters. But I do hope it's more than that. It could be that the Prime Minister truly does see the need for the genre to be supported, to be monitored, <coughs> nanny state, and to be groomed effectively so that as leaders we can safely guide the young lads while they play with their weapons behind closed doors. If so, good on you, Raz Munson and Denmark for leading the field. The biggest esports event of the year. So what do you think about this? Is Raz Munson on the pulse? Or is this simply a cover for a political move to try to lure in young voters? Either way, let me know in your comments below. And thanks so much for all your support. I'm Paul Cruz with the Days of Thunder News. Because you are sportsmen. You are truly sportsmen. Following your dreams. And using your talents, you are E-gaming pioneers.